Wisconsin. This has been fun. Watch a great game between Wisconsin and Michigan State earlier. Maryland Purdue. That was a game in which Maryland came back, made it interesting. Wagner, the little head coaching experience. But had coaching experience yep. as an assistant, but really surrounded himself with a terrific set. I, I like what he's done, and the fact that, as I mentioned earlier, he, he also allows his play. Dickinson down low. Tries to throw down. Is right next to him. That's why they're undefeated. Everybody at this level can play, but it's the intangibles and team chemistry that make you a champion. And Ford are playing well or hard, take them out, which is what he did. You do one of the two things. I'm either playing my best or I'm disciplining somebody for this performance. Connor back in. He's got the fun around. I mean, he didn't know where he was by the he, he gonna be like some of you later on tonight about one o'clock in the morning spinning around not knowing where the hell you're at. Here's Brown. And defense creating offense for Robbie Barron. First steal of the game for the Wildcats, who were dead last in the nation in steals last year. They're up to sixth in the Big Ten this year. Cal should get, get going offensively. It takes a lot of pressure off Marcus Cole. Richard Tatino told us earlier today, Kalsher's trending in the right direction. Six of his... In this COVID environment, and games being postponed and canceled all over the country, you're thankful. Hands and defense creating offense for Robbie Barron. First steal of the game for the Wildcats, who were dead last in the nation in steals last year. They're up to sixth in the Big Ten this year. Done that. Man, you see guys that are, are pros and, and good college players all the time. So to me, that certainly kind of lessens the burden when you jump to the college level. Dickinson inside and the foul. Up here in the second half. Minnesota ended on 8-2-1, all eight points from Marcus Carr as we start off this second half with Michigan up by six. First grand battle of the bigs. The freshman got the better of the big man for Minnesota. Hart just back up. Here's Wagner inside Dickinson. Had a terrible lineup out there. Potter had two fouls. Trice got a little bit dinged up. Who cares? Get back in there with two fouls. Learn to play. They need Potter on the floor. He's Big time ball player Dante Scott averaging over 15 a game in their Big Ten play so far. Let me get back to Elon. Elon got a big game against Northeastern. You gotta get that done. Mike Trogan. He looks a lot better. He's much more confident shooting the ball than he was last year, but I thought last year he was really confident. Here's Wagner. In the Chicago basketball community, who Donnie Kirksey touched, really a fixture on that scene. Well, absolutely. You talk to anybody in Chicago that was in the hoops. Flipping that pressure on Michigan. Nice left hand by Pete Nance. But Dickens in good position on Nance. Outstretched on the sideline as he watched Carr get that clean look at a three. Yeah, uh, one of the few defensive breakdowns we've seen with Michigan tonight. And Carr good enough to make the pay. There's fans or not fans. I see this as the best league in college basketball. And frankly, I don't even see it that close. Look at this. Now low points for Maryland. Ayala, Scott, and E.J. Liddell, the kid from Ohio State, are the three most underappreciated guys in this league. Terrific players that help you win. Wagner takes it into the paint. I believe it was Isaiah Livers coming in and, and just absolutely rejecting that shot. Now, this is what Michigan has done. We mentioned off the top, number one in the Big Ten in field goal percentage defense. And you're seeing lots of evidence of why here tonight. Livers over Barrett. Wow. Uh, what, what tough here. We're going to really find out about them. With that being said, I think Michigan's really good. I think that they are a very good basketball team. They've done a nice job of really molding guys returning with some crafty score terrific footwork and getting to that left side got to 
get on top of Trice on the wing. When he comes up to just off the top of the key, Dave, he's automatic. I mean, he just doesn't miss. Look at this. It's fine. But Nate Reavers is really important. Really, really important. For whatever reason, only... he has been a terribly slow starter in games. But you know what? I'm, it's always been this way for basketball players. I, I go back to when I played in the 80s, man. You're just, everything else goes away when you're on the court. You win. Kickens in the rebound. Here's that Northwestern pace they're playing with this season. And Chris Collins is letting these guys let it go. If they have a shot early in the clock, this is not the Northwestern teams of old where they really slowed it down. Um, to Brandon Johns Jr. I think Robbins was kind of surprised he was that open there at the Big Ten logo. It goes to Eli to Franz Wagner. Well, the Gophers could use some Walter Bond, former player. Three-time NBA All-Star. He said there's a lot of pressure on him, but he said something really resonated with me. As Wagner, who knows the Valley Conference, will take a major step back. They're 13 and 0 this year without him. Isn't that something? 37 to 20. Including nine offensive rebounds now. No! Raylor have been Michigan fans for decades. The son Chad is a Michigan man with, with undergrad and law school there. So big up. And it showed in those passing numbers. 245 passes in the win over Iowa. That's a ton of ball movement. I agree. And I, I think it's fascinating that they track that. That's where I live. Got the whole NCAA tournament, and one thing that we've been told is, you know, we hope we get there. You know what I mean? We hope we get there. Look at this. I have to give a ton of credit to Anthony Gaines there for not settling, understanding where Pete Nance is coming from and dropping it off. Alley-oop to Brown. Four games that Michigan fans really expected to see this season. In the State Farm halftime report coming up. There's Smith. Terrence Williams. And they say that basketball is not a contact sport. I beg to differ. And that tooth came flying out. Eli Brooks is okay. Alex Wong, the athletic trainer, was looking at him during the timeout. And... For Sam Freeman. Well, you, you can tell with Freeman in the game right now. Minnesota's got some nice depth. Of so Mike Smith has the ball. He's been a difference maker for Michigan. No Xavier Simpson this year. Mike Smith came in as a grad transfer from Columbia. Has been really good. And Brockington is kind of a field guy. Once he gets one drop. Look for him to be much more aggressive next time he catches. He was on fire against the Hokies. He was 10 of 14 in that victory this past week. Well scouted by Penn State that time. Goes rebounding really well. Six tonight. Hook pass up top. Brown elbow. Go ahead and smile, young fella. That's a good job on the defensive end. So, James Whitford, Ball State's head coach, has got two sons, ages 13 and 10, Livers. You know, he's been terrific. He's been terrific his whole career, but he's really upped his level. And you let him get to that spot, it's automatic. Indiana did late, and he tied it up with about 10 seconds left. This is a deal where you let a good player get his head up with two dunks early on, all of a sudden that basket starts looking a little bigger and just faces up Franz Wagner gets a great look. Wagner saved for Michigan. What a play by Livers. Because you know I'm too old to know about shoes, so thank you, Lisa. <laughs> Currently in my home, I'm not wearing shoes, so I'm in good shape. <laughs> Even that Even, can't go for yeah. Jonathan Davis. <laughs> I was going to say the same thing. Davis made a great cut, right? Had space. Defense came quick. Back cut here. I'm just glad that Brown is not 
hurt with that elbow. Livery stepped back after the.